Hi guys! In this tutorial I will show you how to draw more furniture to bathroom. In this case, I will draw this wash basin step by step. And don't forget to get a PDF file of this drawing with all dimensions, which is available in the description of the video. So, on the first step, I will draw the shape of the sink, and I'm going to use the common ellipse. It's very easy. I'm going to click in this arrow next to the icon of the command ellipse and now I click on center. First, I click where I want to insert the center of the ellipse and then I have to type the distances of the semi-major and semi-minor axis. Then I decided to insert first the horizontal one which is 200 and then I drag my pointer vertically from the center, type 250 and press enter. So the first ellipse is done. The second one, it's very easy with the command offset. I type O and press enter. I have to specify the distance between both ellipses, which is 30. Press enter. I click in the object and now inside of it. I can press escape when I finish. Ok, after this I'm going to draw this exterior circle of the top here. But first I want to make sure that I'm using the mode quadrant from the object snap. It is going to be very useful here. Ok, so I'm going to activate the command circle then I will snap this quadrant on the left, drag the pointer to this side and then I can type the distance from the quadrant to the center of the circle, which is 60. Then I have to specify its radius, I type 40 and press enter. Now the inner circles. I will do the same process as for the ellipse. I will type O to activate the common offset or alternatively click in the icon over there. The distance between the first two circles is 15. I click on the object and then inside. Right next I click on the second circle and inside of it. On the next step I'm going to draw this handle. So how I will do it? It's simple. I know this distance of 120 here and also I have the vert this vertical one. So what I can do is to draw first a horizontal line from this quadrant. I will activate the command line. I place the pointer in this quadrant. I drag it right and put the second point anywhere. It just needs to be horizontal. Then I can offset the line to a distance of 15 above of it. Click on the line and place it. Then pay attention to this process. I'm going to select the line. I'm going to the first extremity. Click on the blue square to extend the line till the intersection with the circle. But now there is a small problem because it's constantly snapping to the nearest and it will be hard to keep the line horizontal. So it's better to switch off the snap mode. I go here and click on nearest to deactivate it. So I try again to extend the line and when I see the icon intersection I can click. After this I go to the other extremity, I click and I want to make the line 120. But if I type a number right now, I will add or subtract the value from the current dimension. However, if I press the button tab, I can insert a new distance for the line. So I can now type 120. Then it's easy, I can copy the line to the other side by using the command mirror. I select the line, press enter and for the mirror line 
I will use the line I draw as a reference. Finally, I can draw an arc. I click here and select Start, Center, End. First point can be this extremity, then the center is the intersection with this line, and the end point, this one here. Okay, now as you see, the tab is done. I can just delete this line that I don't need it. On the next step, I'm going to draw this part, and for that, I will show you a new command. First, we can simply use the command copy to put another external circle above. I click in the circle, then for the base point, I choose the center. I drag it up vertically and type the distance, which is 120. Then I press escape and I can offset the object I just created. But this time, the first internal circle will be at a distance of 10. I click there and I place it here. Then I click in the second. And for the next one, change the distance to 15. Now it's important. I need these four things around this circle. But first, I will draw just one of them. I am going to draw, for example, the circle on the right. I know its center is exactly in this quadrant. I click on it and type the radius of 8. Then the two lines that connect both circles, I will do as I did before. First, I connect a line between both quadrants. Then I use offset, I type 5, which is half of the distance between both lines. Then I can press enter. To extend it to both circles, I will show you another way with the command extend. I select my reference objects, which are both circles. I press enter. And then I click twice in the line to extend it to both objects. Now, the line below, I let you draw by yourself. Just try to remember two commands that I taught in this tutorial that you can use here. OK, to display four of these around the circle, it's very simple with the command polar array. I will go to this icon here, click in the arrow, and now select Polar Array. I will select the circle and the two lines, press Enter, and click in the center of the circle to have these objects displayed around. So here you have six of them. Instead, I only want four. So I go here to this space and I can change the number of items to four. Perfect. I press enter and I will use the common trim. Select everything, press enter and click to trim the parts inside the circles. Oh, I have to do it also for the handle because I forgot it. I activate trim, select all these, and then select these three parts. Now it's done. The sink is almost finished. I only need to use mirror to these objects and make a horizontal reference line from the center of the circle. Now, the last part of this video, I will draw just this rectangle here. The second thing, try to do it by yourself with only one step. And if you still don't get it, you can ask in the comments section. So, for the rectangle, I will draw first an auxiliary line. From this quadrant here, 
and the distance will be the spacement between the sink and the edge of the rectangle. Then I press escape and I will copy this line to the other side. Choose the end point on the bottom as my base point and then I place the second line clicking in this quadrant at the other side. Finally, I'm going to draw a rectangle, I type REC, put the pointer over the end point of this line without clicking, drag it to the left, and when I see the extension line, I type half of the dimension of the edge, 350. And the second corner of the rectangle, I will hover the end point of this line, drag it right and type again half of the edge distance. Don't forget to delete these two lines at the end and also to draw these small two circles in the center of the ellipse. So it's everything in this video and if you want to learn how to insert this kind of furniture in a floor plan, just click in the card that appears above. Now, don't forget to subscribe to Cad in Black to watch all the full list of tutorials of AutoCAD. Also, if you need extra help, I can provide online private lessons for beginners. Just send me an email to cadinblack at gmail.com and I will provide you all the details. Thank you and see you next time!